hi good morning all so as you can see uh, now we have to discuss about a demo on an ibm spss modeler see ibm spss modeler spss it's something cloud statistical packages for social sciences it's a statistical package so that means it is a part of our analytics it is a part of our predictive analytics but i can tell you one thing that ibm spss modeler it, it is a kind of a package where we can perform any kind of an algorithms related to your Or data, because you know it very well. We have a very common ingredient in our today's world. We have a data, and we want to perform practical on our data. It's like we have to do a analysis. We want to do a predictions. We want to a visualization. Now the introduction about myself. It's like, and I have a more than three years experience as a corporate trainer. Yes, as I have mentioned in the first slide. i have an common ingredient data because i have a complete hands on on an ibm cognos ibm spss modeler and the salesforce admin developer and also on an hr tools so that means ibm cognos ibm spss modeler both the tools are belong to your data that means as i have mentioned we need a ingredient which we can call them as a data and data it's all about your analysis your productions so that means we need a tool and we have an ibm cognos we also have an ibm spss model let's say with the help of this ibm cognos you can just do a normal analysis if you want to check the present scenario of your situation of your data In short, you can go ahead with an IBM Cognos. But let's say you want to check the future predictions. You want to build a model on the basis of your machine learning regression, some kind of an option. In short, you have to switch on your IBM SPSS modeler. And one more thing, I have won many batches with the help of an Trailhead Playground. Batches, it's like. Uh, let's talk about the salesforce admin and developer we have a many options in the salesforce admin we have a many basic concepts salesforce it's kind of a crm platform customer relationship management so for that we have a one open platform one key platform it's all about a trailhead let's say you want to perform some kind of an assignment and uh, and also you want to do a self practice that means you can go ahead with the trailhead platform and as i have mentioned again the common ingredient data so in my last point you can just check i have worked on a different type of a data set in the field of analytics and the predictive scenario because i know the data parameters the relationships of data how you will manage your data how you will calculate your data so it is all about my cognos and for the ibm spss modeler if we want to do a prediction i need an assumptions i need an insights in short you have to switch on your ibm spss model this is all about me let's just move to an another slide now we have a scope of the demo of course guys let's say if i want to uh, do anything if i want to work on a project if i want to analyze this thing so that means i need an output cause i need an output so in short we have an option of an scope of the demo what is the scope of a uh, ibm spss modeler what is the scope of this data set so let's say first of all we have to understand why we need an analytics why we have to perform analytics why we need an analytics in our present scenario you know it very well we can pick an example of your zoom platform as well let's say in a zoom uh, while uh, at the starting of the pandemic or the covid we have a many many different options related to our security purposes but after when the time moves we have a many updated scenarios in our zoom platforms as well so this is all about your analytics we have to perform analysis on our current data set and on the basis of that we have to decide what is best for us so this is is that if you will work on an ibm spss model you can relationship between the data you will understand how you will analyze the industry scenarios next we have an option of how predictive models help business attracts of course guys let's say i want to tell my manager yes this is the time we can invest our amount in this product and after that we can gain more profit so this is all about my business strategy and 
for that i need a analysis on my past data set and for that i have to build a model i have to build a predictive model i have to do a predictions so yes definitely you will work with this ibm spss modeler as well next we have an integrate and collect data of course guys we have a semi structured structured unstructured kind of a data we have to merge them we have to append them merge it's like you can take an example your as well let's say if you are in a university or if you are in a school any any anywhere it's like you want to club your data as you have a data set in the form of an excel sheet and you want to club your data so let's say if i want to manage your data i have a one common key i can say that i have your roll number so i have a different marks belongs to your different subject and i want to integrate them i want to club them so that i can make an aggregate of your result so this is all about your predictive analytics understand the principles of data mining of course guys analytics data mining raw data bulk of data data warehouse that means i have a data warehouses from that data warehouses i have to extract that raw data for my data mining purpose so that i can generate a meaningful insight meaningful patterns from my data we need a streams we need a nodes yes in an ibm spss model we have a nodes we have a stream next improve efficiency sample reports a uh, sample record sorry and work with the sequence data it's all about how you will manage your data how you will manage your records as well so this is all about your predictive analytics that means we can say that ibm spss modeler yes now we have our course outline so this is the course outline guys let's say what we are offering in uh, in the ibm spss modeler we have an entering and importing and editing of data descriptive statistic analysis interpretation t test size square test anova linear regression multiple regression what is this so this is all about your analysis concept that means you have to do a prediction i want to build a modeling modeling size square test this is a completely a part of your probability test you can put an example over here let's say i want to calculate the analysis i want to see the prediction of my stock market let's say i want to see in which stocks i will invest so that means i need the graph of my stock market for that i need a predictions and sci square test is completely a part of your predictions modeling part we have a regression we have a multiple regression i will tell you the best point of this ibm spss model let's say many of the students don't want to do a coding or any other points they don't want to write any algorithm in an ibm spss modeler we have a notes we have a pre built notes in our modeling that is completely related to your machine learning part that means we can analyze our data we can predict our data on the basis of those nodes that's why we have a linear regression or a multiple regression so this is the course slide outline of your ibm spss modeler let's just check an another slide this is all about your add on topics first of all you have to cover all these topics and after that this is all about your add on topics it is all about your clm expression CLM expression is nothing, guys. Uh, let's say I have picked an in-between concept. The reason behind CLM, control language expression manipulation. Let's say, as I have mentioned, you don't have to write anything. But yes, in some cases, you need uh, some uh, functions. Let's say I want to check the date. For an example, if I have joined a uh, Amazon Prime on an uh, June month. and i have ended at a 31st or a 30th june i can say that i have joined as a first and i have joined left as a 29th or a 30th or something like that so that means i have a joined date and i have an ended date and i want to calculate the days in between two dates so that means i need a function for that yes i have to write something i have to perform some kind of an algorithms for that we need a clm expressions it's a very basic concept it's like we have a pre built functions we just have to drag and drop according to our requirements next first of all we can try what is identify the unit of analysis unit of analysis guys let's say as i have mentioned i have a connected date i have an end date 
I have a bulk of data. In that bulk of data, I have a different different parameters. I have to decide what is my target field, and on the basis of which target field, I have to do a predictions. So this is all about my unit of analysis. What is my unit of analysis? Which parameter I will prefer for my analysis? Next point, it's like identify method to create data sets with the required unit of analysis. Again, I need a data set. I need an ingredient for my analysis for my predictions. Use different nodes to integrate data. Integrate data. Maybe in some cases I have a data of in the form of an Excel. In some cases, I have a data in the form of CSV. In some cases, I have a data in the form of XML, JSON, statistics. So that means use different nodes to integrate data. So see, just imagine. Let's say if I will give you a data in the form of an Excel, and in an another one, I will give you in the form of a CSV. And if I will tell you, okay, just do a practical implementation, and you have to create a stream while integrating both the data set. So this will happen. Yes, this is all about your add-on topics. So let's say yes, we have a project. Of course, guys. Of course, if we are doing something, so that means we have an output in our hand. So this is all about the projects. Projects. It's like we have an HR analytics. We have a stock market. As I have mentioned this example in the previous slide as well. So let's say HR analytics. HR analytics. Let's say I have a data of an HR and. I want to do a analysis on the basis of my skills. In which company I have to send which employee on the basis of their skills, on the basis of their salary package, on the basis of their requirements, on the basis of their location, age. So these are my parameters. These are my key variables. So this is all happened with the help of my IBM SPSS model. That means you can generate an output. You can build a one scenario, and you can create a one model. And with the help of that model, you can decide a competitive growth of your HR team. Next project we have in stock market. It's all about your Indian stock markets. You can check the volatility of the uh, stock listed on. Uh, Bombay Stock Exchange or Nifty. It's completely a part of your predictions. Let's say I have mentioned this example in the previous slide as well. So let's just check lab setup. Let's say as I have mentioned a very very important points related to uh, IBM SPSS model. Let's say you have to perform a practical implementation. You can integrate your data. You can manage your data. You need a data set. That means you will import your data. For that you need a database. So guys. All the points are available in your one software that is IBM SPSS model, and you just need a basic requirements, basic requirements, and a basic system. We can say that or a prerequisite. It's all about your analytics. As you know very well, at the st uh, starting of the session, as I have mentioned, just note down we have a one ingredient. We can say that we have a one ingredient that is all about my data. If I have a data, I can perform anything. I can perform analytics. I can perform predictive analytics. It's completely a part of me. So this is all about your system requirements. You need a basic internet, web browser, laptop, 64-bit operating system, and this is a minimum RAM that I have mentioned. And if you have a more RAM, that is very grateful. This is an additional course resources. Let's say. Uh, additional course resources. It will be like let's say after uh, completing all the sessions, or let's say you have covered a 30-minute sessions or a one-hour session, we will share a uh, PPTs related to your topics. Yes, we will also share a uh, short note so that you can prepare your lecture, so you can revise your lecture as well. Sometimes we will share a uh, data sets as well for uh, so that you can perform a practical implementation. Let's say if I want that uh, you and me uh, both can perform a practical implementation on the stock market data set so that definitely i will share my data sets with you so that you can perform a practical implementation and definitely we will also provide a short notes on your practical steps as well so this is all about your notes course guide practical implementation next we have a mock interviews 
so let's say guys as we have discussed analytics we have discussed our main ingredient we have discussed predictive we have discussed insights patterns visualizations dashboard something so at the end let's say what are the questions or what is the main benefit so that you can answer so guys let's say we have a few questions just explain the steps for our data mining illustrate the difference between modeling and evaluation what is the unit of analysis explain how you will integrate your data explain the user interface of ibm spss model so on the basis of your course outline on the basis of your overall scenario we have a few important questions that we can say that of course uh, it will help you in your interviews because these are the very very basic criteria of course if i had a knowledge for a data mining so i can understood all the scenarios all the steps while performing an analytics or while performing in predictive analytics so here we have an option of a uh, modeling and the evaluation modeling and the evaluation it's all about let's say i have mentioned a chi square test probability test so let's say if i have an output yes i will invest my money in this stock so this is my evaluation i have built a model that is completely fine but let's say i have to decide so that decide factor comes in your evaluation criteria next we have a what is the unit of analysis as i have mentioned in my previous slide explain how you will integrate your data the same question we have we have already discussed in our previous slide explain the user interface of ibm spss model yes definitely after covering all the course outlines after covering all the topics definitely you will get a this answer the user interface because i have mentioned a one keyword that is all about your notes yes in an ibm spss modeler we have a different type of notes we can connect notes so that we can make a stream so this is all about your mock interviews as well we have a different different questions related to your different different scenario so let's just check so this is all about your certifications that is available in your markets let's say while completing this analytics or an predictive analytics or an ibm spss modeler so you can go ahead with this certification it's an ibm statistics level v1 v2 and an certified specialist spss modeler professional v3 so yes you can explore this certification after the courses and definitely you will crack it we have a course completion certificate after completing the ibm spss modeler certificate yes you will get a certificate of achievement in this formation in this layout this is an uh, normal example and it's a kind of a normal image but yes definitely you can imagine your certificate in this formation and next we have a thank you just for an attending the session and yes we will appreciate your feedback your queries related to your course scope schedules reference course and the payments option so guys this is all about your ibm spss mod fine everyone so yes if you have any doubt you can contact us you can write us and yes you can share your feedback as well thank you everyone